Hello and welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. I just looked it up. I don't know if you got your book. There's a book out there called Wokeness 101. It's an introductory class to wokeness. And according to Wokeness 101, chapter 3, page 57, it says that if in case of a sport activity, we don't care if it's the Super Bowl, everybody gets the same trophy so nobody will be offended. So according to Wokeness 101, Kansas City Chief must share their championship Super Bowl with the Philadelphia Eagles. Hell, if we're really being fair about it, what about all the other teams that didn't make it to the Super Bowl? That's not inclusive. Notice when it comes to sports, any liberal, they just throw all their wokeness out the window when it comes to sport. Because they're che- what are you cheering for your team for? You misogynistic pig, racist. How can you cheer for one team when everything's supposed to be inclusive? So speaking with inclusivity, that means that the Philadelphia Eagles should be able to share in the Super Bowl champ. Next year, they should get a ring. Matter of fact, for the year start, give everybody a damn ring. See, this is the only place that wokeness and this my truth stuff works is in these crappy universities. See, in wokeness universities, the professor who probably couldn't get another real job, so he's a professor now, and now he wants to bully the kids because they got to kiss up to him for, for him to pass them. Wokeness has destroyed us, but if we're going to stay with the conclusion of wokeness, because it's kind of evolved over the years. See, wokeness back in the day, just let's go back to Woodstock. It was free love, free sex, so do whatever you want to do. Hey, man, just this groovy, man. It was one of those deals. And then Wokeness started being is that we just want to be inclusive. I think everybody should have an opportunity. I think gay men should be able to marry men and women should be able to marry women. And see, now they became militant. You don't agree with me. Therefore, you need to be canceled. See, this is Wokeness. Wokeness is what started the participation trophy. And if we're going to go to the conclusion of the participation trophy, that means that the Philadelphia Eagles, they only lost by three points. I know some of the Eagle fans still upset. Technically speaking, though, that defense was trash the second half. Just going to throw that in there for you. Oh, you want don't that? Let's not try to blame it on one call. Because also, uh, uh, Mr. Hurts, if he hadn't fumbled that ball in the first half, they were almost running away with that damn thing. Then if the guy play defense in the second half, I'm just gonna throw that out there too. By the way, both of the, the quarterbacks, Mahomes and, and, and Jalen Hurts, both are from Texas. One from Tyler, one from Houston. That's right. Two Texans uh, started the Super Bowl. Just want to throw that in there too on you, just just in case. I didn't get a chance to really watch the game, but I saw some of the highlights. But I didn't really watch the game. But anyway, I heard it was a good game. But I'm I'm here speaking on behalf of the Philadelphia Eagles, saying you deserve a trophy too. How how is it going to make the Philadelphia Eagles feel? They're going to feel bad about this. Because the Kansas City Chiefs get to celebrate. How is that fair? Because we're talking about inclusivity, right? So that means there should be, quit taking scores. You see how crazy wokeness really is? Wokeness says that it's not fair. Come look at Harris was just saying this the other day. All the outcome has to be the same. And I joke and say it's time for some other woman to be the vice president then. Notice with these woke people, they are nothing but hypocrites. Whole woke community ain't nothing but a bunch of freaking hypocrites. They talk about climate change, got a private jet. They, They got yachts. They got two and three houses lecturing you on eating freaking meat. See, we gotta, we gotta, 
put the wokeness back on them because if you're saying wokeness 101 means that every, it's, it's not fair for the illegals not to come over here and get free stuff. Technically, that's what they're saying, right? Okay, then. Okay, then. What kind of house you live in? It's not fair for you live in that kind of house. Everybody should be able to live in the house you live in. Everybody should drive the cars you drive. Everybody should eat all the fancy food you eat. If we're going to take wokeness one-on-one -on -one course. Because this is what it actually boils down to. One thing I can tell you about sports, even these liberal sports athletes, no matter how woke they are, they still want to win. Like Steph Curry didn't want the people with some four and five hundred thousand dollar houses moving in his neighborhood, but he woke, he supported Joe Biden. I thought you wanted equal systemic racism. They're hypocrites. All liberals, all woke, progressive are nothing but hypocrites. They're always talking about one thing. Now, I bet you if they got any liberals who are Kansas City Chief uh, fans, now I know what the conservatives said, my team won, get over it. But I'm talking to the liberals who are Kansas City Chief fans. You should advocate. Matter of fact, you should protest that the Kansas City Chief must share the trophy with the Philadelphia Eagles. It's not fair for only one team to win. It's not fair. Because that's what they always say. If you say, Jesus said he on the way. That's, that's narrow-minded. How is it fair for one team to win the Super Bowl then? Just asking. I got questions. Wondering if you got answers. Just like you have a boxing match. One fella get knocked out. He should wake up and say, we're sharing the belts. See, even no matter how woke they get and the advertisers get woke, bottom line is scoreboard. The team with the highest score still wins in sports. That seems like that's toxic masculinity, right? Trying to win. You don't need to be trying to win. But we got to take it to its lowest common denominator. Let's reduce it all the way down. And I looked at this and I was thinking about this. I said, wait a minute. I don't understand why any liberals who may be a Kansas City Chief fan could be possibly celebrating. They should be crying at home right now. They should be bawling of the injustice that happened to the Philadelphia Eagles. They didn't get a trophy either. They don't get a Super Bowl ring either. That's not fair. See, wokeness works real well at your nice little uh, meetings at your college universities. Yeah, it works real well there. In the real world, though, wokeness don't work. Wokeness is trash anyway. It never has been nothing but trash. Every policy. When I listen to some woke person saying something, you can almost just completely go the opposite way. Because they're nothing but freaking hypocrites. These are the folks who are saying, think about it. The, the left was the ones who saying it was anti-government. We hate the government. Now they're, they're praising the government. They're nothing but hypocrites. They've always been hypocrites. But I'm here to advocate on behalf of the Philadelphia Eagles. I know they booed Santa Claus. They booed that, that pair Scott. They said, we're going to boo you. Philadelphia fans will boo anybody. When Michael Irvin almost broke his neck, they was booing and clapping for that too. I'm telling you, them Philly fans are some boy. They, they hard too, but uh, we're going to ignore that though because we think that they still should get a trophy according to Wokeness 101, chapter 3, uh, page 57. You want to get a copy of that book? Wokeness 101 teaches how to be woke. See, wokeness says that math is offensive and it's racist too. Uh, see, wokeness says that history is, uh, is, is being judgmental, except for the history we want to promote. So we need to get it. We need to, this Congress need to get involved to make sure that the Philadelphia Eagles get their championship also. Maybe we can get Congress in here. Because Congress did free Sheila Jackson Lee, according to her own words. She used to be a slave until Congress freed her. And if they can free Miss Jackson, if you're nasty, if they can free her, I know dang well that they ought to be able to get some trophies and some rings uh, uh, sent over to the Philadelphia Eagles.
so they won't have to feel bad about themselves. It ain't fair for only one team to win. That's right. Wokeness 101. 